everybody, it's Roger Death here. Uh, episode 7 of Final Fantasy Tactics, Knights of Cannabis. It's been a while. If you hear me pausing, or muting my mic, it's because I have a na rather nasty cough, which I can't seem to get rid of. So I will be muting occasionally while I cough, because it's disgusting and you guys don't need to hear that. Like there, for example. So we're going to pick up more or less where we left off. We have our two saves here that we've been using, and then I've got two saves here because I felt like playing the game my, uh, uh, separately from uh, this campaign, so. <clears throat> uh, not a lot has changed. Some levels here and there. Uh, we did get uh, Davin for sure, and I, I, I kind of went back and watched the videos, um, not fully, <clears throat> so we might have had this before. Concentration. A very important skill. Makes it so that he will always hit the enemy if they're in that square when he attacks. Uh, there's no dodging. There's no blocking. It hits. <clears throat> Mytho or Geomancer slash Magus slash I don't have a good uh, class. A lot of skills. A lot of skills. The Bard has... Well, this is kind of silly. Every uh, Bardic ability learned. Uh, does not have anything of the other categories learned, though, so there's still room to improve there. Glam, our thief, who was, who was our newcomer and died because of uh, RNG bullshit. Uh, still no skills because thief skills take forever to get to where they're decent. Note that I do not believe, you know, he does not have the JP boost, so it does take him longer to learn these abilities. We do still have the two shitheads here. I don't even know if I've learned anything. I, I have not played in <clears throat> quite some time, even on my own. Because it has been over a year, probably about... Let's see, it was... We're at about a year and eight months since the last episode came out. So if you guys forgot what happened, I don't blame you. Go catch up. There's a playlist. I'll make sure it's updated. <clears throat> so we're going to play for a bit. Uh, I made a mistake and didn't pay attention to the time. I started recording, so give me one second. Let me see if I can figure that out from from this file here. Yes, good. Three minutes ago, perfect. I can live with that, <clears throat> so I know roughly what time I uh, started. I don't want this to go too long, uh, but I also don't want it to be super short. Now I do not remember if I have done shopping. <coughs> I don't even remember if anything new has come up. Uh, somebody does not have battle boots equipped that needs them. I suspect... Uh, it looks like I had six of those. Yeah, it's it's just these two shitters, which I don't want to give them. Uh, Lamia's Harp is... A, it looks like it's strong with that ten... Damn. Okay, I can't highlight it. It looks strong with the ten. It, it's really not going to be something you see him use very often. <clears throat> I do love, love the reason I want to get all those skills from Mythos because it's so situational which ones you can and cannot use. So we'll do probably a random and then, uh, depending on how the random goes, we may do another one or we may go straight into a uh, <clears throat> a full game or the next story mission, which does get significantly harder. I may actually I'm actually thinking I'm going to go and equip everybody with some good equipment. <clears throat> it is a good one. Now, what I will probably do the next time we lose characters is I'm actually going to introduce characters from a non-Pathfinder game I'm playing right now. Uh, Ninja is our DM. Four Malls in it as well. <clears throat> in fact, pretty much everybody that you've seen in some of these League of Legends videos lately, they're part of it as well. And I'll be introducing them. Uh, this is a 5e game. We'll be, we'll be putting people in. Um... Just for Ninja Sanity, I'm going to tell him right now, uh, there will be no Hans. You may not know what that is, but believe me, you, you are better off not. We're just going to start off cautiously, because that bomb hasn't gone yet. Uh, <clears throat> then we'll go here. We will... Uh, what is it, Tailwind? Yeah. I, for I forget what they are in this version of the game. I'm used to playing... The uh, old school uh, uh, PSX version, PS1, whatever you want to call it. 
So I don't have all of these skill names memorized. Uh, can I geomance? Yes, it's not very strong. That's that's the other trick here is that geomancy really isn't a, a super strong skill. <clears throat> it has its situational uses. Uh, I'd love to give him a regular bow, but that's just not correct, Davin. Uh, that was weird. Uh, there's... Oh, God, that takes a long time to get... Oh, that's why. One of these... Oh! Oh, that's actually really good. One of these, I believe, actually increases this physical attack power. Speed. Let, let's go with that one. <clears throat> so he gets his turn. We'll get the speed off. <clears throat> He gets to do this all the freaking time. Uh, only some people get affected by it. But, that's okay. Uh, Davin was in fact affected. So that makes him super good. But we want to go before the bomb goes again, and that's Safarius. So we can do into. <clears throat> that's not doing a lot of damage. Why am I doing so little damage right now? What? Since the difference was three points on instant versus later, I'm going to go with the instant damage, because it's less stupid. <clears throat> oh, actually, I'm going to get attacked. Oh, uh, yes, I did. <laughs> Counter tackle. We're going to do our best to not lose Glim again, because that depressed the crap out of me. Uh, what is... <clears throat> okay, so he'll be coming up soon. We're gonna just leave him. The thing with the Bard, I, I feel like, is like, it's really good if you just leave it alone. And actually, now I think about it, I do have another character I need, need to, to uh, bring into the game. Uh, I forget because... The game petered out, um... It's, it's been a long time since we played. Let's, let's put it that way. Um, I'm, I was looking... I, I, if it ever comes back, I will be happy. Uh, but I don't know if it ever will. That's going to kill him, so why does it not do damage? Okay. I'm just going to stop asking questions. <clears throat> so it does look like we will uh, go to a, a, sta a... The next mission, I'm thinking of this... Uh, at least the bar got some speed. Having the bard get speed's not bad because that makes the song go come up quicker. <clears throat> it's it's on that same scaling principle as Aramza stuff, where it's like, hey, you did it, you're faster. Now you gotta go faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. faster, faster. It's stupid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some speed scaling again. Uh, and who we wanted. <clears throat> Put it on myth up. Why not? So, interesting fact that doesn't mean anything to anybody at this point. <clears throat> this is the second time I've tried recording this in the last uh, 30 minutes or so. The first one I was, I actually started recording, and then I got a work call and I had to answer it. Uh, so I had to basically stop right in the middle. So I started over again, because I, I hadn't gotten that past the menus and everything. But it's just like, typical. Uh, what kind of damage did that do? Uh, we'll just attack, it's got a low chance of, yeah. That's what I figured would happen. <clears throat> Rising Melody hit somebody at least, so he gets some experience. Oh yeah. It looks like it hit two people. Yeah. I find it really interesting this is not running smoothly. The battle is won. More gold, because we need that. 
Let's see, the next mission has... Oh, we can probably do it. Let's look and make sure we can't give anybody new abilities. I won't learn anything new. Uh, I do have Monk available, though, which is interesting. Um, it really actually is a pretty good set of skills. I do like how it's handled. Mytho, I don't... Oh, you might be able to learn an archer. Yeah, me too. And she's got... Uh, he's got... Oh, uh, aim is a secondary. Can the bard learn anything at all? No. The earliest we get something is at 500, and even that's not very good. Move 3 is better. So we'll wait for that. Uh, that said... We're gonna give him written MP, because why the hell not? Glam, you you can't steal shit, which is okay because the next uh, next mission is an archer, two ranger, or two monks, and two knights, I believe. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna uh, optimize these guys. We're gonna give them uh, gear. It's silly, I know, but if it's important that they have it uh, for this battle, it's gonna make things a lot easier. So, as always, we are going to save. Well, uh, actually, first. You know, I'm not going to get that other character because I can't remember that character's name. Like I said, it, it's been a while since we've played. I, I don't remember it. Let's see. Yeah, we've just got a bunch of empties. So, Zigaloose Desert. First squad is, uh, yeah, we'll put, yeah, we'll put Sean in there. You can move down here. I don't even know if that'll actually do anything. Oh, that's right. We only get to bring two in on this one. Well, Glim, I think you're going to set out. I don't think you're going to be as useful. Those two at least have range. <clears throat> I don't remember if there's anything really good to steal. I don't think so, because, again, it, it's not a very... Powerful group of enemies. It might actually be two archers, two monks, and two knights. I don't remember. I cannot recall. Or three knights, a monk, and an archer. Okay. So, in case you've forgotten the story, or you just don't care, what's happened is that these guys are part of the Death Corps who captured Marquis Elmdor. No, Marquis Elmdor, sorry. Not used to noble titles out here in, in good old Freedom Land. It's a joke. So, we've tracked them back down to here. From the Merchant City of Dor. After going to... The story's not important. Now, of note is that most people in the Death Corps are against ransoming. <clears throat> the order is kind of here, kind of not. Oh, it is too. So it's six enemies. That's okay. We can do this. Two monks, an archer, and three knights. Um, this is doable. <clears throat> I certainly think so. This is why I wanted to give them equipment because there there is some kind of nasty that's going on. I'm not hearing the. There we go. Let's look at what these guys have. Oh, he's got a longbow. That's actually kind of nice, but Davin won't get one. The buckler is nice. I do not believe I have one of those. I don't remember what the bronze helmet. Uh, I do have one of those. Okay. I always just like to see. I, mean, I can't get any of this stuff, but I like to see what they have. Yeah, the bucklers are nice. What do you guys have? I just love the clothing. And other clothing. Okay. Nothing too scary here. <clears throat> One thing about this game is that it's kind of unique. Because uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned this in any of the other videos. Is that the story battles are, I think with the exception of one or two in uh, Chapter 4, uh, they're all set uh, experiences. Enemies are always at the same power level. Enemies are always at the same uh, levels, same gear, 
the same abilities. <coughs> the abilities might be randomized. I don't recall off the top of my head. We are going to go with, is it rousing? Uh, yes. I like rousing. We are going to rousing. We're going to rouse them. This is a great position because it keeps us blocked by one in one side. Uh, this is going to get silly. This is one reason why uh, Geomancer having low damage is not necessarily a bad thing. He's going to hit uh, four people. Uh, that's 64 damage, if you were counting. I wasn't too sure if I was actually in the right spot. That's the thing with concentration. It, it sometimes it. I think that's why it does this. Is if you're concentrating, that the damage goes down. That was a really really low drop. <clears throat> give, some, give us some speed, Sean. Well, there's at least two people that got it. Sean Argoth. Oh, three people. Sean gained a level. Yay! Do you let it go? You're quicker. Go stab. That's not how you use a sword. You stab. I mean, I guess you could use it like that, but that's stupid. That's why I left that space open, as Argoth is retarded, and he does this. He also doesn't use his sword that I gave him. I guess, actually, you can use it for slashing. That's what, what it is in Pathfinder and D&D. <laughs> it's not a piercing weapon. What am I saying? I'm an idiot! <clears throat> I didn't think he was actually going to attack, I thought he was just going to try and run. Uh, not that there's really anywhere he can run to. No, I'm just going to hunt him down, I'm going to kill him this turn. Monks are silly if you let them live. 36 damage, game level, congratulations me. You, you stay back there and give us some rousing melodies. Speed, good. Four people speed, it's an improvement. Job level up, congratulations. There's nobody in that spot now, and I think if I drop down, I would hit Argoth in the head. Yeah, and as much as I hate him, I, I really don't want to do that. Do I have... Uh, I have Rush. Okay. Davin, you wait. You are useless this turn. Dila's going to get shot uh, in a charge. We are going to, once again, Geomancy. Uh, the question is... Do we want it here? Uh, or do we want it here? I think here's a better spot. It's gonna do 16 damage to each remaining. Oh, that's an immobilize on the one. Nice! Good level. We're just gonna continue to wait there. Dealer takes a shot. Kane is taking pain. Uh, Kane just. Uh, got some good damage down. I may switch songs to the Healy one. Oh, Mytho and Bardos. And, okay, that's that's three out of six. That's actually a, a not terrible. Uh, of course, he uses a potion. It's a not terrible outcome. Not terrible at all. Not great, but not terrible. <coughs> uh, another potion, yeah. I don't mind Dealer using it as much because he's not a giant prick asshole. Uh, yet. The, the speed bonus is, is really helping us out. This is when it's going to suck because now the monk is out. And, and monks hurt. Shocker right now. Um, since I cannot reach him, I'm just going to tailwind myself some more. <clears throat> So that is a strategy from your grinding. Because uh, I just want to show you. With his 9 speed. Watch how quickly he comes back up. He comes back up pretty quickly. We were actually going to up. That actually could do some damage. Who is that? I don't think it's Giles. Sometimes the game doesn't respond. Uh, it's because I'm running it on the emulator. PPSP. P 
PP, SSPP, sorry. Uh, and I haven't updated that in a while. Uh, if we do a Geomancy here, that will kill him when the attack goes off. But if we do it over here, yeah, we'll do it here. I I'd rather get the kill. He's going to come out. Maybe he's going to move up. <clears throat> More speed for Bardos. Devil takes a shot, gets a kill. This guy's going to run and try and get... Oh, oh he's going to potion. I didn't see that coming, actually. I gotta say. You just wait there. <coughs> Argoth, get in there. Gripping useless dick. You're good. Very good slash. Oh, my key... My, uh... My, uh controller is disconnecting. That's what's causing these issues. That's going to barely leave him alive. We should... Hopefully... Yes. Uh, Geomancy is going to kill him. <clears throat> it's a good kill. No mobilizes, which is a bit of a shame, but it's not unexpected. Uh, keep pressing melodying us. Uh, I just keep getting speed increases, guys. He's going to use a potion. Okay. <coughs> no longer immobilized. I don't like that. Uh, not in firing range. Because it's screwed with a damn bow. <coughs> it's probably Gawain. Yeah, that is. I can't do a charge. <coughs> this may influence his decision to cause him to run away, though. Oh, he's gonna hit Argoth. I'm okay with this. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out now, I don't like him. Giles, you gonna come? Nope, you're gonna go out. You're gonna you're gonna finish off uh, Argoth. Oh ye! <laughs> You know, as much as I hate Argoth, that's good for me because it gives me an extra turn of him and being a scapegoat. Priorities. I have them. Okay, speed increases are nice. <laughs> 54 freaking damage. That's what I like to see. Now, the question is, do I want to get rid of him or him? We'll get rid of the knight. Because <clears throat> he'll go first. That leaves us with a knight and the monk who's almost dead. Which is a great position to be in. This allows me to come up over here to protect Davin. Who I do not think is possible to get a shot off on the other guy. We are not going to try. We are going to attack him and we're going to run away. Because <clears throat> Devin does not take hits very well. Dila is just deciding he doesn't want to participate in this battle. <clears throat> it's okay. Fine. More speed. Alright. Let's kill this monk. I do not want him doing anything in this battle. Down to the night left. <clears throat> Argoth is probably going to run away. Because he's a little bitch. I do believe that the AI has it programmed into, uh, into them. 
that if they cannot, that they only use one potion in a, uh, in a game, or in a round, whatever you want to call this, a map, a battle, if they are guests in your party. I could be wrong, I don't play with, you know, you don't get guests with the auto potion too frequently. Rousing Melody! I uh, got three of us again. Uh, Delita is just continuing to be god awful uselessness. Oh, you couldn't even throw a stone. Fine, I'm gonna walk over here. And we're gonna kill him. <clears throat> Wasn't a hard mission. Got a little scary there for uh, for a bit just because uh, Davin got uh, attacked pretty good. So with that, we end the first kind of little mini segment of the run. Bunch of money we don't need, more money. The blind knife is nice because it's a knife, which does damage. It's a dagger class weapon. Uh, and... <clears throat> oh! Uh, and it can, as a chance to inflict blind. However, this is more interesting. Because this right here is Wygraf, the leader of the Death Corps. Whatever they call it now. I can't remember. It's Death Corps to me. To Gustav, the guy that kidnapped the Marquis. Who you see over there, over here with the uh, silver hair, the Sephiroth, Sephiroth wannabe. <clears throat> and they're bitching back and forth. Uh, basically, Wygraf is saying, no, fuck you. Why'd you cra capture him? That's not what we do. And, and Wygriff is just way more badass. Gustav just doesn't stand a chance. Uh, I'm going to note, uh, Wygriff took down a thief, a squire, and a knight all by himself. <clears throat> our, our, my character is more concerned about the fact that Wygriff is here, even then with the Marquis. Dela is being the, the level-headed one. Uh, Wygriff is surprisingly... Lenient. <clears throat> and, and like I said, Wygriff does not approve of kidnapping. <clears throat> Wygriff is just a hot headed dickhead. Or not Wygriff, uh, Argoth, because he's a hot headed dickhead. And Teal is just try is is a smart one. Corpse Brigade. Corpse Brigade. I, they're death quarter me, damn it. <clears throat> Unarmed but weak. See him back to Igros. And I bel I don't think we get teleported there immediately. I nope. Let's take a look at the shop before we end. Uh this is the wrong place to go. To go to the shop, and I did it again. <clears throat> Cause I don't remember if the shop's up the shop's updated now, okay. So, first thing we're going to do, actually, is when we're going to go in and we're going to, uh, strip. Not abilities. Strip these guys of their good shit. That's coming off. We are then going to come over here to Glim. And give him that blind knife we got. Doesn't add any extra damage. But it does have that chance to add in blind, which is good enough on its own. And everybody else, I believe, is already optimized. Yes, they are. So we'll do some shopping here real quick, and then we'll end the video. Uh, Ramza will probably not. Yeah. Oh, we get a buckler. Or Ramza fire. Varas gets a buckler. Uh, he gets a whole bunch of stuff, including something that actually increases his. Uh, what was it? Uh, it, it, was it that one? Oh no, it was the buckler, I increased it, yeah. <clears throat> We've got some money, we'll, we'll just do optimizations for a bit. Uh, until we get to these two, we don't really care about. Hey look, we've got a whole bunch of extra money still. Uh, what are we going to do with the, uh, these items that we have? Well, we're going to get rid of these leather caps. Uh, we will keep two bloomed hats, plumed hats and give them to our shitty members. We will sell all this clothing. Uh, we'll keep a hempen robe because you never know when we're going to need it. And they're a pain they have to buy, I think. 
Uh, we're gonna keep those, and there we go. <clears throat> that is our shopping trip. That is episode seven. Um, I don't know how much I'll do random battles in these. I think I've said that in the past, but we did one today, so yeah, screw it. But with that said, guys, it's another episode of a series that I have started a long time ago and never completed. Uh, this seems to be a theme with me, given that I have this one, the Final Fantasy IX one, the Dawn of War 1 campaign video series, probably others I'm forgetting. I know there's the Vendy 2 one, but I have to get with the uh, Formal and Ninja on time to do that, and that's uh, not always in ready supply. Uh, so, well, we'll see. I'll work on getting some of these old series wrapped up. So, I will see you guys next time.